We're not taking pictures. What? We're not taking pictures. Take a video of you guys because it is such a beautiful trail. We should have brought our bikes. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Let's go, boys. Make it up. See this huge gap here? Okay, move up guys. Let's go, move up. One voice. One voice. Sections put on a ship, sailed around South America, to San Francisco, from there put on wagons and brought to right here and then reassembled. It was a factory made house, so there's at least two others that are exactly like it that still stand. One of those, I believe, is in San Jose. Um, the other one burned down. This is one of the two left now. Beautiful home. It's done in uh, early kind of Victorian style. Victorian meaning it's got all those fun little points on it and slopes, and it's quite nice to look at. It does sort of look like a dollhouse. We're going to start moving inside. So. Yes. Stay close. Stay close so you can hear him. Stay close, guys. There's lots, of, there's lots of turtles here. You'll see. How funny. <laughs> they, all, they have their own private parking space, huh? around it used for farmland. In fact, he had a big setup of houses over there where workers live. Right up here, we'll see in a few minutes, was the city's water supply, which he stored in redwood pipes and shipped over to the city. Some of those pipes are still in existence today. This building here is not a barn. It's called a chalet. And that's where he kept things like carriages and tack, which is saddle equipment for horse riding. He did have stables. There were more buildings that you don't currently see. So this was quite a large production, very elaborate, showy kind of home. We're going to go in. I'm going to remind you guys not to take photos with flash, if possible, um, and to not touch a lot, because everything in here is historic. Most of it is originally owned by General Vallejo, so we're not going to touch anything and leave it all as it is. is from the 1800s. <clears throat> a lot of it was owned by General Vallejo. You guys can take a peek, like in the room behind me, this is the living room. You'll see things like 
instruments. He didn't play any instruments, but his son did. He was a gifted musician who taught lessons. So you'll see instruments, you'll see all kinds of daily household items. You'll see in there, that's their dining room. Very elaborately decorated. There might have been more paintings. There certainly have been fancy rugs on the floor. The rooms are set up to be about 1850, 1860 period. So you'll see stuff that reflects that in there. Um, you guys have questions so far? Am I going through that? Yes. yes. Can we go upstairs? We will be going upstairs, but upstairs is kind of small, so we're going to go up in kind of little group pods, because otherwise it will be chaos up there. Like the barracks. These stairs are kind of steep and strange when you get on them, so small groups is going to be better for that. Yes. Okay, the stairs. So there's servants can get up and down without being seen. It's kind of unique to this style of house. Two staircases. So remember that. You need two staircases. Staircases this right here. A flight of stairs. It's nice. That was his daughter. Do you think this might belong to? His daughters. When they're younger or when they're much older? I just thought. I just thought you. <laughs> you guys might be interested in seeing what's upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said we're going up here later. Where? So let's wait. Up here. Let's wait for the tour guy. For Alex. Alexander. This way. Beavers might oh. I never seen a scorpion before. Oh my before. god. No I looked at the rock and I found its ecosystem. That's right. I never seen a scorpion. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tease it. It's a scorpion. That thing's going to be a scorpion. Is it a scorpion? 